Okay, let's move on to the second drill. Second one's gonna be up against the board's neutral zone one-on-one uh, -on -one battles. And so uh, what we'll do is uh, uh, Daniel's gonna start, if there was a neutral zone dot on this ice, yeah, Daniel, you'd actually start right here, right beside the neutral zone dot on the blue line. His objective is he's going to try to push me into the boards. My objective on offense is going to, I'm going to start right up against the boards. And you can even move up a bit, Daniel, so you're right in line with me. Daniel's going to start forwards, and he's just going to boom, cut me off right inside this uh, Toronto Maple Leafs uh, fans uh, banner. My objective is if there was a face-off dot right here, by the time I get to this face-off dot, I want to be on the inside of that dot. Uh, so that I can get into a prime spot to try to score. Daniel's objective is he's going to try to keep me down here and keep me into the corner or along the boards and obviously prevent me from getting close to a, a good scoring space um, uh, to try to put the puck in the net. So first thing is on offense, uh, two things. I want you to start with your back already turned to the defenseman so that you're going to start with a crossover start and you're facing into the boards. Don't start too close to the boards, you want some space. If I started like this, then I'd have to start with a V start and that could be effective, but I feel like the crossover start will be more effective. Plus, Daniel can't even see possession of the puck, put the puck right now, let alone actually get possession of it. So this is a nice way to start. Definitely don't start facing. A good defenseman would take those three strides before you even knew it. Get a quick poke check and you'd be done. Uh, his objective, if he steals possession of it, then he can go score on offense. The second thing is I want you to start with as much speed as you possibly can. So at the blue line, um, take at least four or five strides. Before he even gets to you or she, then you'd go straight into those first five strides uh, and then you're focusing more on speed. If you enter into the zone with very little speed, or if you enter into the zone with one or two strides and a bit of stick handling, he'll close the gap and he'll be on top of you right away. So start with speed. Always enter into the zone with as much speed as you can.